Hi everybody, welcome back to Underground Interviews. Today we're going to be teaching you guys how to use what we like to call labels and or tag words. Keywords, whatever you might call them, these are what direct traffic back to your website. A lot of people have quality websites, quality blogs, quality writing, but you can't have quality without the tag words, keywords, labels. That's what's bringing you the traffic. That's one of many resources that bring in traffic, but a lot of people just tend not to know exactly what to do. So we're going to show you here today exactly how to direct traffic back to your website with tag words, keywords, labels, whatever they may be called on your web provider. Right now we're using what's called Blogger. We have a website, www.undergroundinterviews.org, but we run our website off of Blogger. Instead of using WordPress like other people might suggest, I tend to like Blogger the way it works, the way it's set up. It's simple, easy, quick to use, really, really good for people looking to just start off. But we're going to show you exactly what to do here. So today, if you notice, we have... A nice little top line right there and it says live music downtown this post is live music downtown so we're gonna come over here pretend like we've already created a post and we're gonna set labels when you're setting labels if I'm gonna do live music downtown I might do something like live music which town are we talking about live music Chicago Quality sound. Things like that. Now when I'm putting in keywords, I can fill that up to 200 characters when using Blogger. I attempt to use as many characters as possible. Once you're done creating characters, you can come up to your top button up here and it's your publish button and you're just going to enter publish. And that'll go ahead and what that'll do is bring you back and save your item and put your item up under those tag words with whatever you've written. Now... Jumping off of a template like Blogger, we've also got some really, really, really cool things. Once you go ahead and you get a post up, here's one we just did today. How to drive more traffic to my Facebook fan page. You click onto this, and you can already look and see. We'll take you back into my Blogger account here, and let you take a look. We have tag-worded this thing from the wall to the ground and back. What that does is generates traffic. This has been up and created about 122 views for me today. I'm sitting at a total right now of 7,500 views, and this blog is not even three weeks old. And what this does for me is creates a spin, creates some sort of traffic to where I can monetize my views. I can monetize what's coming in and make that work for me. I don't know what works for you, but for me right now, we're working on monetization and lengthening the ability to bring customers in. So you'll look right here as to how to drive traffic into your website. And if you notice over here, we are full of keywords. We've got free website views, how to get more traffic to your website, how to more traffic to my Facebook fan page, social media marketing, and social media networking. This here is a fully created post put up, I'd say, about an hour ago. It has already generated 122 views, and what we've done is we've created this post. We've linked things like our YouTube video here on how to make a proper Facebook header. We've linked in images that explain what this is about, social media images. We've linked in a header to our Facebook page for the underground interviews. It shows you exactly how to create that header and how to tag your website in your header so you can get more views. And also showed you a Facebook event and a picture of an event and how to create an event top to bottom. Now, because this is based off of social media marketing and Facebook marketing, what we've done is we've come over here to where you have your labels and we've trafficked all our labels directly at what the post is about. We don't jump out of the subject. We're not telling you to buy. We're not telling you to look and buy Nikes and try to put chocolate in as a label. No, if you're doing Nikes, you're going to do shoes, sports shoes.